Now let us simplify these 10 Boolean expressions with the help of Boolean algebra rules. Let us see the first expression x y z plus x dash y plus x y z dash. So we have to simplify uh, this Boolean expression uh, with the help of the Boolean algebra rules. Uh, if we observe the first two term and the third term, x y variables are common. So let us common x y. So here the first two term contains z this term contains z dash. So next the remaining term x dash y. Next x y we have a formula a plus a dash is equal to 1. So z plus z dash is equal to 1 plus x dash y. Next we have identity law a into 1 is equal to a. So x y into 1 is equal to x y plus x dash y. So if we observe these two terms, so y is common, so y into x plus x dash, we have a formula a plus a dash is equal to 1, so y into 1, 1, so y into 1 is equal to y, anything into 1 is equal to that anything only, okay, so y into 1 is equal to y, so here uh, the minimized expression for the first problem is y okay now let us solve the second example second example so what is the second example a plus b plus c dash into a dash b dash plus c a plus b plus c dash into a dash b dash plus c so let us multiply a with a dash b dash c b with a dash b dash c, c dash with a dash b dash c. So a into a dash b dash plus multiply a with c, a into c plus multiply b, b with a dash b dash, next multiply b with c, next multiply c dash with a dash b dash, next multiply c dash with c, okay. So a into a dash is equal to 0, a into a dash is equal to 0, so 0 into b dash plus here we have ac, ac term, next b into b dash is equal to 0, b into b dash is equal to 0, so 0 into a dash plus bc plus uh, c dash a dash b dash can be written as a dash b dash c dash plus c dash c is nothing but 0 only, okay. So 0 into anything is equal to 0. So 0, 0 plus ac means ac only. So ac plus 0 into anything is equal to 0 only. So we can uh, neglect this 0. So ac plus bc plus a dash b dash c dash. So let us write a dash b dash c dash first. If we observe these two terms, c variable is common. So c into a plus b. So here after simplification, the solution is what? A dash, B dash, C dash plus C into A plus B. So this is the solution for the second problem. Second problem, okay. So if we familiar with uh, all Boolean algebraic rules, then we can solve any problem very, very easily, okay. So let us see the third example. Third example is X dash Y plus x y plus x dash y dash x dash y plus x y plus x dash y dash if we observe the first two term and third term x dash variable is common so y plus here we have y dash so plus what is the remaining term x y is the remaining term so x dash into so y plus y dash is equal to 1 plus x y x dash into 1 is nothing but x dash. So x dash plus x dash plus x y. x dash plus x y. Here we have a formula called uh, a plus a dash b is equal to. If we observe here, first two term contains only one variable that is a. Whereas second term contains two variables. The first variable is 
complement of the first term. What is the complement of A? A dash. Uh, and uh, the next term is B. So, the solution for this uh, uh, problem is, here the answer is A plus. Here we can, uh, uh, we can uh, neglect this A dash. So, A plus B. So, this is the answer for this uh, expression. So, likewise, if you observe here, the first term is X dash. The first term contains a single variable X dash. Whereas, second term contains complement of the X dash. X dash complement is nothing but X only. And another variable called X. So, the solution for this one is X dash plus. We can neglect this X. So, X dash plus Y. So, here the answer for the third question is what? X dash plus Y. X dash plus Y. So, now let us solve the fourth example. A, B, fourth example. A, B plus A, B dash C plus A, B dash C dash. A, B plus A, B dash C plus A, B dash C dash. So, if we observe uh, uh, the second one and third one. So, what is the common term? A, B dash is the common one. So, let us write the first term as it is. Here, in second and third, A, B dash is common. So, C is the remaining variable here. Here, C dash is the remaining variable. So, A, B plus A, B dash into C plus C dash means 1. So, A, B plus A, B dash into 1 is nothing but A, B dash only. So, if you observe these two terms, A is common. So, A is common. So, A of B plus B dash. So, A of B plus B dash means 1. So, A into 1. 1 into anything is nothing but that anything only. So, A is the solution. Okay. So, the answer for the fourth question is what? A. A is the simplified expression. Okay. A. Uh, so, four problems are solved. Now, let us see the fifth one. A plus A plus B dash. A plus B into A plus B dash. A dash plus B into A dash plus B dash. So, all these problems are very, very important problems. Previously, uh, in the previous examinations, all these problems were given. Uh, so, if we observe uh, these two terms. So, this is distributive law. Okay. Uh, so, here A is common. So, we can write as A plus B, B dash. B, B dash. So, we have distributive law. A plus B into C is equal to a plus B into A plus C. So, here we can write as A plus B. Here we have B dash. So, A plus B B dash. Likewise, if we observe these two terms, A dash is the common. So, B B dash. So, we can write, we can combine these two as B B dash. So, A dash plus B B dash. So, A plus B B dash means 0. A dash plus B B dash means 0. A plus 0 means A. A dash plus 0 means A dash. A into A dash is equal to 0. So, 0 is the answer for the fifth question. So, for the fifth question, what is the simplified expression? 0 is the simplified expression. Now, let us solve the sixth problem. Let us solve the sixth one. What is the sixth one? A, B, C plus A dash plus A, B dash C. A, B, C plus A dash plus A, B dash C. So, if we observe the first two term and third term, A, C is common. So, B is the remaining variable here. Here, B dash. Next, plus A dash. So, A, C into B plus B dash is nothing but 1. A, C into 1 is nothing but A, C. So, A, C plus A dash C. So, here the simplified expression for the sixth problem is what? A, C plus A dash. Now, let us see about uh, seventh one. Seventh one. Here dash can be written as bar also. So we can write dash r, dash a dash r, a bar. So both are same only. Complement. Dash and bar both represents complement. So a bar, a bar, b bar, c bar, plus a, b bar, c, plus a bar, c bar. A bar, B bar, C bar, plus A, A bar, B bar, C bar, plus A bar, B bar, C plus A bar, C bar. 
if we observe the first two, two terms a bar b bar variable is common so c bar plus the remaining variable is c plus a bar c bar so c bar plus c means 1 1 into anything is nothing but that anything only so a bar b bar plus a bar c bar a bar c bar so if we observe these two terms a b is common a bar is common so we will get b bar plus c bar so this is in the form of uh, demogran law we know about the demogran's law the formula for uh, a b whole bar is a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar okay so we can write this expression as uh, a bar into this is in the form of b bar plus c bar so b bar plus c bar means a bar plus b bar means a b whole bar so b bar plus c bar means b bar plus c bar means b c whole bar so b c whole bar okay so this is in the form of a bar into b bar what is the formula for a bar into b bar a bar into b bar means uh, a bar into b bar we can write this as a plus b whole bar a plus b whole bar here what is a a plus b c whole bar a c whole here we have another formula a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar a bar into b bar so a bar into b bar a bar into b bar is equal to a plus b whole bar here a means a b means b c so a plus b c whole bar so this is the solution for which problem for the seventh problem for the seventh problem this is the simplified expression now let us see about the eighth expression a b plus b c plus a c dash so this is consensus algorithm so we have consensus algorithm consensus al algorithm means it should contain a b b c a c a b plus b c plus a c and one variable contains complemented term here if you observe here c contains complemented term c bar so then the solution is so simply we have to search for a term which contains normal c so this is the term which contains normal c so the solution is these two terms so b c plus a c bar this is the solution suppose that we have an expression like this a b plus b c plus a c let b contains complement let b contains complement then the solution is we have to search for the term which contains normal b so this is the term so the solution for this problem is this one a b plus b dash c but in this problem we have c dash so we have to search for the term which contains c so this is the term so the solution is b c plus a c dash or if you want we can easily solve this one also here this is the term which contains c dash and this is the term which contains that c so we have to focus on a b we can write a b as a b into 1 plus b c plus a c dash a b into 1 means we have a formula a plus a dash is equal to 1 so c plus c dash is equal to 1 why because that is the next term plus b c plus a c dash so we can write this as a b c multiply this one plus a b c dash plus b c plus a c dash a b c plus a b c dash plus b c plus a c dash if we observe these two terms a b is common okay uh, what is the solution for this one b c plus a c dash if we observe these two terms a b is common <coughs> so c c plus c dash plus b c plus a c dash c plus uh, so what is the solution here uh, a b into here we have taken one so one can be written as c plus c dash so a b c plus a b c dash plus b c plus a c dash a b into c plus c dash so small modification uh, let us observe uh, these two terms if we observe these two terms b c is common so the remaining variable is a here the we don't have any other variable so one let us observe these two terms a c bar is common so here b is the next variable here we have we don't have any value so 1 so a plus 1 so 1 plus anything is equal to 1 only okay so bc into 1 means b bc so 1 plus a means 
वन प्लस एनी थिंग इज ईक्वल टू वन ओन सो बीसी इंटू वन प्लस एसी डैश इंटू वन प्लस एनी थिंग इज ईक्वल टू वन सो बीसी इंटू वन मीन बीसी प्लस एसी डैश इंटू वन मीन एसी डैश सो दट इज द सोल्यूशन ओके सो बीसी इंटू वन मीन या नॉट विजिबल सो बीसी इंटू वन मीन बीसी प्लस एसी डैश इंटू वन मीन एसी डैश सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ओके नौ लेट एस सी द नाइन्थ एक्सापल नाइन्थ एक्सापल ए बी डैश प्लस ए डैश बी हॉल डैश सो दिस इज डिमोग्रांस ला ए प्लस बी हॉल बार ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन दैट फॉर्मूला ए बार इंटू बी बार सो हियर व्हाट इज ए ए बी बार बार ए बार इंटू बी बार व्हाट इज बी हियर ए बार बी हॉल बार सो अगेन दिस इज डिमोग्रांस ला ए बी हॉल बार इज इक्वल टू ए बार प्लस बी बार सो ए बार प्लस b bar bar means b only b only into this is also demogranz a b whole bar means a bar plus b bar a bar whole bar means a plus b bar now let us do the multiplication so multiply a dash with a and ab dash so a dash into a plus a dash into b dash plus multiply b with a as well as b with b dash b with b dash so a into a dash means 0 likewise here also b into b dash means 0 so the solution is very very simple a dash b dash plus ab a dash b dash plus ab so this is the solution for this one now let us solve the last example abc whole dash so this is also demogranz law ab whole bar means a bar plus b bar whereas abc whole bar means a bar Plus b bar plus c bar into let us write the next two two terms. Simply we need to multiply. So multiply a with a c dash. So a into a plus a into c dash plus multiply c with a c into a plus c into c dash. A a a c dash c a c c dash. Okay. Next a dash plus b dash plus c dash. Into a into a is nothing but a only plus a c dash plus a c plus c into c dash means zero so zero into anything is equal to zero only so a dash plus b dash plus c dash if we observe these three terms a is common here so let us common a so one plus c dash plus c one plus anything is equal to one only one plus anything is equal to one only so one into a One into a means a only. So a dash plus b dash plus c dash into one into a means a. So this is the simplified expression for this problem. So likewise, we can solve, we can simplify any Boolean expression very very easily with the help of the Boolean algebra rules.